Hello and welcome to this Tableau for Sport video. We're going to rank the teams. This is part four of our AFL dashboard. Again, you could apply this to any sport and, and really you could apply this next technique to any any different dashboard as well. It's, it's useful across the board. So what I want to do is, if I jump back into the dashboard, what I actually want to do now is replace where it says average per game here with where the team ranks. Okay, so where do they rank for marks? I want to try and put this into some sort of context. So we can see how they competed against an opponent, but over the 18 teams, where do the Adelaide Crows or whoever this team is rank in terms of marks per game, average marks per game? And we'll do that for those six KPIs. Okay, now this involves a few different changes to how the, the dashboard works and interacts with itself. Uh, so we'll go through those now. So let's have... A look and just to say where the inspiration for all this comes from is a video from Andy Creeble, who I would recommend that you check out on YouTube as well if you're looking for Tableau tutorials. I'll bring that up at the end. Okay, so let's have a look. Inside 50s, we'll start with this first one. So I'm just going to go to the sheet and I'm going to need to break a couple of things in order for this to work. Okay, so first thing is I'm going to remove this. Um, I'm going to put the team here. I'm going to get rid of this dashboard action. So we're back to all teams. Okay. And I'm just going to make this a standard view. So we can see the average across all of the teams here. And the first thing I'm going to do is build a rank calculation. So we're just going to say, we're going to call this the rank. And it's going to be the rank of the team value. Okay. So whatever, in this case, we filtered inside 50s, it's now ranking those. It comes in as a green pill and the problem is if I drag this on, it tries to build me a chart. So what I want to do is just right click and make this discrete. Discrete gives me a list. So if you want a list of things, the, the pill here in Tableau should be blue. And you can see now I can put that in and I get a list of the ranks. So we can see Adelaide down here at the bottom and Richmond at the top. Now the problem is, or what you think might be straightforward is, we filter for a team like Adelaide and our rank changes to one. And this has to do with how Tableau computes or how it calculates the order it calculates things in. So what happens is it filters for the team first. This is known as a dimension filter. So it filters for the team first and then computes the rank, which is known as a, a table calculation. Okay, and we need to fix something and, and do it the other way. And as I said, Tableau order of operations, it's worth Googling. There's a, a kind of menu of items uh, that it shows you how it computes, but I'm just going to show you this video uh, or how to do this first without getting too much into the, the theory of it. Okay, so let's get rid of that filter for now. So I'm going to do it by creating a set. So the first thing I want to do is right click on team. I'm going to do create, set, and for our experiment, let's put Adelaide in there. Okay. So team set. And again, I'm just going to drag this on so we can see. So we get all the outs. And then in is down here as Adelaide. All right. Now I can move that here and we can see our in should go to the top. All right. So you can see now that we've got an in set and it computes. Again, if I was to filter this. So if I control, hold control on my keyboard and copy this over and we just looked it in my rank calculation goes back to one. Okay. So just dragging and dropping in this case can get you a little bit lost. So we need to do it in a, in a slightly different way. So here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to right click on this and instead of exclude or filter, I'm going to hide them. So hiding them, nobody can see them, but it's still, they're still in the view as Tableau maintains it. You know, it's not filtered over here. So it's still in the view, so it can still compute this rank. Next thing I want to do is I want to move the rank to the text. So a couple of different ways of doing this, but really what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here and edit table calculation. And again, there's other videos that will go into the, the pure detail of this, but I want to, instead of table down, I want to make sure this is specific dimensions. That just kind of locks it in. As I said, not going to go into the detail here. So uh, rank, I'm going to move that to the text. You can see 18 is in there now. I don't want to show any of these, so I'm going to leave them in here. I'm just going to untick show header, untick show header, and we're back to our proper view here. So I can go entire view, 
And let me just go and format so all the lines are gone. So we should be back. I still have one. No row dividers. Okay, so we're back here and I can just tidy up the text on this. So I'm going to put in rank and get rid of that. And click OK. So now we know that they average 36 and that ranks 18th across the board. Okay, now I'm not going to fill in the other ones for now, but you'd have to repeat that for the other five uh, key performance indicators. Okay, so you come over here and just build it out the same way. If you've been following along, just make sure to remove the existing filters. Okay, so I am actually going to take those off. take these off the kicks as well and that. okay so these would be the average across all the teams and again you just build it the same way so I like to build it as a table so that I can see um, so you see rank and let's just put the team on there So again, edit this, make sure both of those are ticked. We can see once again, actually Adelaide are bottom for the kicks. And again, just go and hide. Put that onto my text and show header. Show header. And again, just format all of the lines to be gone. Okay, so I won't repeat this for the other ones. Hopefully you get the idea and tidy up the text. Super. Okay, so I've built this across two, and as I said, you'll have to build this up for the other ones. Now, the next thing is I need to get this breaks the filters. Okay, so we need to tidy up how, how this works now. Okay. So what we need to do is add an action. We've got it filtering. Which might be okay. And what I want to do is change set values. And the source sheet is the... team selector so let's just untick all them so when I select the team selector I wanted to update the team set so that's changed the name that's in the set okay assign the values to the set and when I clear I want to keep the set values so this was something we did in the previous filter as well that it would it would clear those so click okay and okay and now if I reselect And now that I think about it, there's a couple of other changes I want to make. So, so far we've been filtering by team, but we actually want to filter by this team set. So I'm just going to drag the team set onto there. And we'll do the same here. Team set. And obviously you do this across the six of them now. And the last thing is dashboard actions. I want to get rid of this filter action. It's very tough. Okay. So all that's happening is, is when I click on the team logo, it updates the set now instead of, it's still filtering, but it's updating a set. It updates the set for these two. So we click OK. And now we have, you can see it's broken the other ones, but you can go through and fix those. We now know that uh, that one, uh, I need to fix the form guide as well. So again, you'd have to go through and just swap out team for team set. And everything should start to, to look right. So if I click Brisbane Lines, you can see for these two, they're ranked third and third. Yeah, so it is working. Inside 50s, uh, Essendon are ranked 11 here and 14 here. And if we go to someone like Richmond, yeah, they're first for inside 50s. They're 13th for kicks. Okay, so again, a different way going about it. A little bit more complicated. That's a little bit more advanced. Uh, I'd suggest you dig into some of the things I mentioned, like Tableau Order of Operations, um, Andy Creeble's video, um, 
any of his videos really around around Tableau are, are worth a, a kind of a watch for a deep deeper dive in. But that's my explanation of how you would go about that. Thanks for watching.